Hey guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making some shrimp and broccoli and garlic sauce. Uh, this recipe was easy to make, few ingredients, and husband approved. So let's get into it. This is a, the scallions. I got it from the international market with the onion part still attached to the bottom. I like that one because it's, it's milder than an onion and has a better look than the actual smaller scallion and so that's why i used it but of course you can use the plain regular scallion you don't need to use a special one or whatever the case may be so i'm going to chop the whites up because i'm going to use the whites and the greens in this recipe you also want to chop up the green part which we're going to put in the marinade for the shrimp and broccoli these are the rest of the ingredients you're going to need. I have two small heads of broccoli. I have a half a pound of shrimp as well as some light soy, some sesame oil, cornstarch, and Aleppo pepper for a little heat. In that little ramekin, I have the ends of the scallion and some garlic. And the other ramekin has the greens and the rest of the garlic. Total was six large cloves of garlic. You want to season your shrimp with salt and pepper. Next, we're gonna work on a marinade. You're gonna add your light soy, as well as your cornstarch, and then your sesame oil. And then we're going to add the greens and the garlic, the green parts of the scallions, as well as the Aleppo pepper. That's gonna add a slight little, you know, what's that in the back? <laughs> That's what that does. I also added a tablespoon of sugar. I forgot to do that before I mixed it up, but it's in there now. So now we're going to uh, blanch the broccoli. If you blanch your broccoli more than two minutes, you can't be my friend. If you go over two minutes, you can't be a part of the Misha's Corner Crew, okay? <laughs> So now you're gonna saute the garlic and the white parts of the scallions just like this just for about a minute a minute and a half then you're gonna add the shrimp make sure your stove is on medium to medium low because my stove was too high and my butter got a little brown which ended up being fine in the end because brown butter is good anyway it didn't burn it just got a little brown so then you want to saute your shrimp about a minute on each side and then you're gonna add your broccoli. Uh, FYI, you do not need to put strong coloring or crust on the shrimp. I just sauteed it for a minute on each side and that was it. Add your sauce, stir that up, and look at God, you done already. Look how easy that was, done, finished. And don't cook your broccoli to that, y'all. Once you add the sauce, one more minute and that's it. Do not cook this broccoli to death. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and show you guys what my husband thinks of it, as well as some pictures at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate your support. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Shrimp and broccoli and garlic sauce. Shrimp, broccoli, garlic sauce. Okay, all right. Let's do it Why are you eating it together? Mm. Now, okay. you know, I can't taste it, but I did the best I could. Uh, the broccoli should still be slightly, like, underdone. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be soft and mushy. And I don't know. I can't really say much else. I know it's good, but I can't tell y'all much else. <laughs> this, yeah, this, it, it, it almost it gives me sort of an Asian vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It kind of reminds me of um, of Asian food, but it, it, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. That garlic hitting, mm -hmm. it's a lot of garlic in there, y'all. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. yeah, y'all. Mm.